Hi everyone and welcome back to another video by Less Tax Today. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the CIS Domestic Reverse Charge uh, scheme with QuickBooks Online from the contractor point of view. So we did a video today uh, on the subcontractor, we're now doing it from the contractor point of view. So you take on subcontractors, they invoice you generally, their labour materials plus VAT and the CIS is deducted and you want to record that in the system. So first off, as you can see, we're in our dashboard. But before I continue, please subscribe to the page if you find these videos informative and they're helping you. Please like the video if you find it a good video. Uh, and also drop a comment, even if it's just to say, yeah, that helped me, great, thanks, well done. Or um, if you have any questions, not a problem whatsoever. So just interact with us. We'd like to see how the content is working for people. Uh, we do get comments, we reply to every single one, but please just let us know and we'll keep continue making these videos for you. So as you can see, we're in the dashboard and we need to activate the domestic reverse charge VAT codes first. So first of all, we need to go to taxes, VAT, edit VAT, edit rates. Now you can see it's not here by st standard, but also you've got VAT codes that you'll probably never use. So you can turn them off very, very simply by just doing this, making them inactive. So I'm making all these easy cells. So I don't do any easy cells. Uh, so we've made them all inactive. Now it's reduced the list down. So when you have your list of VAT codes, when you're entering invoices, it will reduce it down. So now what we want to do is we want to activate the domestic reverse charge ones. So if we go to this little cog here, make inactive, include them. You can see that you've got the domestic reverse charge ones here that are currently set to off. If you turn them on, they're now active. So now you get a invoice from a subcontractor. Now I'm gonna make a new subcontractor. Uh, DF building services. We make sure that that box is ticked to say that they're subcontractor. We've gone through the verification. I'm not gonna do that obviously. We've gone through the verification, they're 20%. So that's fine, that's not a problem. So now if we do a, um, we go to that particular supplier, there's always, there's numerous different ways you can input the invoice. New bill, go there, to click on the supplier, create a bill, or to create a bill, clicking on the left hand side. But because I'm here, I'm just gonna create a bill. As you can see, it's already sent to me CIS costs standard 20%. I can put in here any description that I want. So if I do five days labor uh, for a thousand pounds. Now this is where the important bit comes in. So normally I would select 20% S because they're a, a VAT registered subcontractor and this is how it would provide it to me. But now because it's under the domestic reverse charge, I select this one here, the RCCIS, okay? and it works it all out for me. 1,000 pound plus VAT minus the 20% gives me 1,000 pound again, minus the CIS, balance due is 800 pounds. So if I now save and close that, that's now added, a bill for 800 pounds been saved. So now if I look on my VAT and go to this VAT return, just so I wanna show that it's there and I select the date of the end if I go to net value purchases, I scroll all the way to the bottom, it's here. 1st of March 2021, DF, it's shown it there and it's dealt with the VAT part for you. So it's all recorded, there's no issue whatsoever um, and that's how it is. Obviously being mindful, I know uh, a lot of your main contractors have obviously looked up what is part and, and what's not, but obviously anything that's linked to the construction industry, apart from if someone just makes a supply. So like your builders, merchants, they'll still charge you 20%, but if you have a subcontractor that supplies your materials, then two weeks later you get them to come and install the job and it's two different invoices, but it's, it's the linked uh, process that falls under the scheme. So just be mindful of that. But that's it for today. Very, very simple. Very, very quick. But like I said at the start of the start of the video, please subscribe, please comment, please like. And until next time, we'll see you soon.